nerds, welcome back to the Nerd Hangout. In this episode, guys, we're going to talk about miniatures. Like I said in this episode, we're going to talk about some miniatures and my brother Chasha Johansson is going to do the review and we're going to talk about the very specific kind of miniatures and these miniatures are from Dark Sword. He bought about two miniatures and we're going to review them over two episodes and maybe we're going to make a third when we paint them. I'm not sure yet. We're going to figure that out. The first miniature he's going to look at is a male ranger with sword and wineskin option. So we're going to the forge where my brother is going to review this miniature. Take it away, Chashan. There you are. It is time to bend the steel. Welcome to the forge. The first one we have is the male ranger with sword and wineskin options. I really like this uh, miniature on the on the picture. And first things first, the shipping. As you can see, the uh, box, the plastic thingy is ruptured here. And it's fairly damaged in the corner, which is fine because that's what this box is for, is to protect the miniature. But still, it, it shows that it hasn't been handled the way we like it. So let's rip this one open. Nice bit of foam here. And the miniature. As you can see there, already as I opened, there is a lot of metal residue. It looks great in my opinion. The face is really well cut out. Just zoom a bit in here. It's uh, very nicely detailed. All around actually and as you can see there are metal scraps one is there another one here up on the shoulder right there so there is some cleaning to do and you can see that he's missing both forearms or hands that is because separately this thing arrived here you have a sword arm and you have a bow arm. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to uh, cut off the sword and bow from this metal uh, block and I'm going to glue it on the miniature. Some people, most people probably, like to uh, paint the miniature first and then glue on the bow and the uh, sword and arm. There is a wineskin option like it says on the miniature itself. You can see the wineskin is this to the right. There is the wineskin, in the middle is the sword and the bow is on the left. You can replace either the bow, the wineskin or the sword with each other. But as I look at it here, I believe that I'm going to put the bow in his right hand and the sword in his left hand. So first things first. We, I have two types of tools here. One is a army painter clipper, and the second one is a hobby knife. The hobby knife isn't ideal for miniatures. You would like to get a vasecto knife because the blade itself is smaller and you can get into those tight areas. With the hobby knife, it's a bit more difficult. The only reason I don't have a vasecto knife is because I haven't gotten around to buy one yet. That is on my to-do list. So. The first thing I'm going to do is look at a miniature and just, yeah, you can see the, the pieces almost fall off themselves, so I'm just going to take it off. And the second large piece was here on the cape. I'm going to insert my hobby knife and just gently do it like that. Now you can see the piece is here and it's loose, so I'm just going to use my finger and here it is. And then I will look for other issues, potential issues with this miniature. And as I look around, I can't see any mold lines, which is great because it's a metal miniature. 
Um, I don't know if that's the exact reason for it, but as I look at it, I don't believe that I see anything else that could cause a problem. So I'm, go I'm going to leave this here for now and I'm going to move on to the sword, bow and wineskin. First thing I'm going to do is take this clipper and gently, well, you can see the clipper has two sides. This side is tilted inwards and this side is flat. So I'm going to take the flat side and clip it as far up as I can. Okay, and as you can see, this is very bendy. So if I just wiggle it for a bit, it will slot right off. I'm going to do the same thing to the sword. Just tiny wiggle, and there it is. And the wineskin. So, I have this wineskin and there's still this metal piece on it. So the thing I'm going to do is, like before, just wiggle it a little bit and pull it right off. Now, looking at the wineskin, there is some residue on the top of the wineskin. It's very hard to see right here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my hobby knife and just scrape it off. Sometimes it might be easier to use a file, but in this case, I'm just using the knife. Yeah, that's fine. So I'm just going to leave the wineskin here and move on to the bow. So looking at a bow, first impressions, you can see here on the tiny curl that there is some residue. So I'm going to remove that. And when you remove this, don't do it like I do. Always hold the knife like this and cut away from your hand. But I'm done. And I have better control like this. So please do yourself a favor and don't cut towards yourself. And when you put your hand against it and you still feel some grain, you can take a file like this one. This file is from Army Painter. And just go gently, very gently, and file those edges away. Really doesn't take a lot. And this sword. So, as you can see at the tip of the sword, there is some residue. And let's look at the handle and the hand itself. There is some residue on the handle. It is, you can see right there. And on the tip there. There. So, I'm going to remove that as well. There. Now, you can see the tip is fine. Two swipes with the file and it's off. So the sword is nice and clean, so is the wineskin, and so is the bow. And as you can see, the bow's form is not ideal, but when you have this, this type of material, you can bend it very easily. You see? I have bent it a bit, maybe a bit more. There. And Please do be careful when bending because you can overbend and if you bend too much, it will break. So just like when I wiggle the pieces off, you can keep bending and bending and bending and eventually it will snap off. So there it is, ready for uh, washing. I will take a toothbrush and some soap water and just brush it gently to get all the dirt out of the... Uh, out of the areas that are like, like where your wash suppo uh, is, supp is supposed to go into those cracks. There can be a bit of residue from either metal or there can just be um, dirt. So remove that to really get the best detail out of the miniature. That is all we have for this episode. We're gonna have a part two where Charlton is going to take a look at another dark sword miniature, the Raid with Bastard Sword.
definitely when it go, comes to the miniatures, Chashtam is the guy to talk to. I'm more the terrain building kind of guy. So that was very interesting to see how he does when he makes them ready and when he is going to paint them. We're gonna probably have that in another episode. I don't know if it's gonna be these specific miniatures or something else, but we're definitely gonna look at another miniature from Dark Sword the next episode. And that's gonna come in the near future. I don't know specifically when, but if you want to see that as well, be sure to subscribe and click that bell so you will be notified each time an episode is uploaded to the Nerd Hangout. Anyway guys, this is all we have for today. Goodbye nerds. And the first, uh, and the first, and I'm gonna, and my trash, and my brother Chashtang Hansen, where my, and we're going to going. <sighs> the camera is really interested in the hobby life. Please refocus. Hmm.